Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. I hope things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from Revival today. This is for September the 7th. And this story is September the 7th, 1952. The Powerful Influence of Music. And it came even to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music, and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. Second Chronicles 5, 13 and 14. After a terrible car accident, B.B. McKinney died in Bryson City, North Carolina at the age of 66. He was on his way to preach in a revival meeting when God called him home. While McKinney was a powerful and compassionate preacher, he was also an engaging song leader and was known to say as he led, let's mean these words as we sing. A plaque still hangs in Bistonia Baptist Church, his home church, commemorating his ministry. The plaque reads, Bayless Benjamin McKinney composed over 500 hymns and gospel songs. His life goal was to lead people to Christ through music. As King Solomon finished his project of building the temple for the Lord, he and the people organized the dedication ceremony. As the Ark of the Covenant was brought into the temple, the choirs and orchestras began to glorify God in music. What an indescribable sound that must have been. Combined with their humble prayer and obedience, the music brought the presence of God to the temple, so much that the priest could not even stand inside. The holiness of the Lord was lifted up through music, and the presence of the Lord followed. Next time you go to church, would you decide that you are going to enhance the power of the preaching by preparing your heart through prayerful and humble obedience to sing in the congregational music? Music is not first and foremost for our enjoyment or entertainment, nor is it our chance to exhibit our abilities or creativity. Music is designed to draw us closer to God and the preaching of his word. Music is a very big part of, uh, of church. I know some churches that um, they don't they use instruments. That's their business. And still, the music is a very big part of that and those congregations as well. It's a very big part of worshiping God. Uh, just so it is the music that glorifies him and thanks him and praises him for what he's done. This song is called End of the Road. And uh, one of these days, we're all going to come to the end of it. And uh, it's yet to be seen what it will be like by us. Eye hath not seen, ear hath not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. But God has revealed some things to us. Singing yesterday in a in a rest home close to our home here. Uh, I sang, uh, when we all get to heaven, a little woman requested it, I sang it, and then I said, we can only imagine what will be there. And some things we don't have to imagine what won't be there because the scripture tells us some of those things. But um, when we come to the end of the road, we will know for sure, right? When I come to the end of a long long road the shadows will flee away and I'll stand in the glorious light of God where dwelleth the eternal day when I come to the end the end of the road to the land of eternity when I come to the end of life's long road, the face of my Lord I'll see. Looking back o'er the years, 
that were hard and drear. The hand of the Christ I see, and my heart will go forth with a song of praise because of His love for me. When I come to the end, the end of the road, to the land of eternity. When I come to the end of life's long road, the face of my Lord I'll see. When I come to the end of a long, long road, the trials will all be past, and I'll look in the face of my dearest friend, safe home in his heaven at last. When I come to the end, the end of the road, to the land of eternity. When I come to the end of life's long road, the face of my Lord I'll see. When I come to the end of life's long road, the face of my Lord I'll see. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us, Lord, and I thank you for the opportunity to um, look at this story uh, told of this gentleman who dedicated his life to not only preaching the Word of God, but delivering the music as well and the hymns that he had written. God, I pray that you will help us all um, to sing at the top of our lungs to do the best that we can do. Some people say they can't carry a tune in a bucket, but if you're carrying it for the Lord, uh, do what you do. And God, I pray that you would bless today uh, in songs. And uh, God, I pray that you would uh, give encouragement and strength to those that hear and those that sing as well through the day today. Maybe some folks watching this will draw strength from a song that someone had written years ago. Maybe they will draw strength from a message that somebody had preached years ago. But it all has to do with you and it's all about you and we love you and we thank you lord in jesus name amen god bless you folks see you thursday